Hi, I'm going to teach you a revision game which is really good for just before the quiz near the end of the year. I usually play it once a year. I'm an English teacher for foreign students, but you can teach this to any subject like math or geography or whatever. Just change the questions, obviously. How do you play? First, split the class into teams. I find that two teams is okay, but I've experimented with three or four. Then you draw a grid on the board. Mine is 10 by 10, but yours can be smaller if you like. Now, each spot on the grid represents a different kind of value or weapon. How do you win? Your team kills the other team. Now, I'm using guns and bombs and fire. A little bit nasty. You can change this to whatever you want. I'll talk about that at the end so it's not so violent. Uh, it might not be appropriate where you are, and that's fine. Talk about it at the end. Um, how do you play? So you know they have t we have two teams. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the students questions that they should have learned throughout the year. It's a revision game. And whoever can just answer it first can choose a square. And now I don't mind if my students yell out. The right kind of noise in a classroom is okay. If you want, you can make them put their hand up. That's fine. Uh, so I'll ask my students a question. For example, uh, what color is my sleeve? And someone will say red. And I'll say, yes, that's right. Choose a square. Now I have here a key that I filled out that will tell me what's behind every square. Now maybe they choose J9. Because of this, I know that J9 is a gun. If they get a gun, they can shoot someone from the other team, which means that person dies. But don't worry, everyone begins with three lives. Okay, so everyone starts with three lives. If you get shot with a gun once, you're down to two. You get shot again, you're down to one. You get shot again, you're on zero, and you can come and help me. I don't let my students sit in the class and do nothing. Come up here and think of questions with me. Of course, if you're the teacher, maybe you've written a list of questions to help you be on the ball. Two guns, you can choose someone and shoot them twice. From three down to one. Or choose two people. I choose you to shoot once, I choose you to shoot once. Uh, a bomb, well, you answer the question, you're a real good student, boom, blows up in your face, you lose one point. Fire, that burns everyone on your team, it's very unlucky. You don't want to have too many fires on your key card because that will be a very short game. And a heart is plus one life. So if all the students have three lives at the beginning, like I said, if you get a heart straight away, you have four. If you only have two lives left and you get a heart, you have three and so on and so on. You'll find that people gang up on the smart people. It's a good strategy. The smart people are fine because they don't have to review as much anyway. They can come up here and help you ask questions to the class. They can help you mark stuff off. Oh yeah, by the way, mark things off like this. That way you don't have people choosing the same one and again and again, again and again. Okay, so like I said, this is a little bit violent. I can understand that some places in the world Students bring guns to school and stuff like that, and so you can change it. You can make it a football thing. Yellow card, red card, injury, um, reserve player, the, the, the team got food poisoning, you know? You can make it a Mario Brothers thing. Uh, one up mushroom, Mario and Luigi both fall into a hole. Uh, your control pad falls out, I don't know. Um, point is, you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be violent like this. <sighs> what else would I like to say? I can't remember. Thanks for watching. I hope you tried that game in your classroom. Please leave a message and tell me how you went. If you made any changes, you can, you can add new things. I experimented once by having a knife. It wasn't very good. So, uh, enjoy.